Good morning to you. Here we are today in not so sunny um, Swanage in Dorset. You can see, see in the background there, it's a little bit cold, a little bit miserable today. But we're here at a really nice little holiday let um, that's given us a call because they've got a problem with their drains. And we've come out to, to have a look at it and we found out that the drains have actually collapsed. Um, but someone's moving in this evening for a holiday let, so time is a little bit of the essence. So normally where we would excavate and we would dig up, that we don't really have the time to do that today. So we're gonna run you through um, some lining, some patching work to show you how we can reinstate um, a drain by actually lining it through with uh, fiberglass patches. Fully reinstates it, fully makes it back to normal, um, but it's just quicker and more efficient and gets the holiday lets in. So I'm gonna run you through it. Um, hope you enjoy the video. So here's a drain, here's the drain at the front of the property and this here is what is known as an interceptor trap. And an interceptor tra the interceptor trap is effectively an old U-bend that would have run out to the main sewer. But when we have a look down into the drain, you can see that the, uh, the base of the interceptor trap itself is pretty much completely disintegrated. And a lot of the stone, a lot of the rubble, a lot of the debris has now traveled down that pipe work, uh, causing a blockage. And we need to spend a little bit of time now cleaning that out. Okay, so we spent quite a bit of time, strangely enough, on that job, getting this, um, getting this pipe cleared. There was an awful lot of stone and an awful lot of rubble down down the pipe but as you'll see if i push my camera in now we've got it nice and clean in there and tidy um and we're gonna we're gonna put a new piece of pipe in here which we've um we've already cut the size this is the bit of pipe um that's gonna go in the drain it's got a slight little angle on it so it fits so that pipe will get inserted into the drain and then it'll form our form our new pipe within and what we'll end up doing is we'll end up joining this bit of plastic pipe work to the clay pipe work with a structural liner. So if we go over to the van, I'll show you, show you what the liner and how the liner is installed and how it joins together. So what we've got here, this is a fiberglass patch. Um, we've cut it to size to suit, suit, suit our pipe work, but we get these in varying sheets and lengths. Uh, and what we do is we, we impregnate this fiberglass with uh, a two-part ep epoxy. So we've got an epoxy resin, we mix the two together and we impregnate the, the, the resin into the matting. Once that's done, we'll fold the resin uh, over, uh, we'll fold the matting over and it gives us a couple of clean edges. This thing gets wrapped around a bladder. This is an inflatable bladder, so it's a rubber bladder that we can pump up and inflate. So this gets wrapped around like so. The bladder then will get inserted into, into the pipe that we're gonna that we're gonna install. So if you can imagine for the time being, this is the plastic pipe, this would be the clay section of pipe. This thing gets inflated and it will cure the two pipes together. And this will then remain about you know, two to three millimeters, something like that. So it will have absolutely no adverse effect on the flow characteristics of the pipe. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get this wetted out. We can get it put in place. And then when that's in place, we'll start doing some cementing work to make it all tidy. Right, so we've got our patch all wetted out. We've got our resin on it. It's been wrapped around the bladder and we're gonna go in, try and stay a little bit clean while we go and put this into the drain. Up through the pipe and inside. And what George is gonna do, he's gonna run over to this house over there because we've discovered there's a pipe that's coming in and it's connecting just a little bit further down. It's not connecting into this manhole. It's connecting a bit further down. So George is, Got himself his camera set up there and he's gonna have a little look and tell me when my patch is in far enough. Then we're gonna inflate it up and we'll come back to you. Great, so that's us done. We've now got a packer inside. We've pumped it up through a little hose and it's inflated and we're, we're at the right pressure at the moment. So we can leave this to cure now. It takes for anywhere between 30 minutes and an hour, ideally an hour if you can leave it. Um, we've, we've used quite a rapid um, 
mix today so, it's, so that it does go off a bit faster. We normally use this in the midst of winter when it's too cold. Um, we, we use it, but we can use it this time of year because it's still, you know, if you kind of have a look at the sea, it's still a little bit chilly today. It's not so warm. Um, so that's going to go off probably about half an hour's time. We'll check it. Um, uh, we've got the we've got the bottle of chemical that we can check and see how that's going off, um, and then we'll 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 view it from there. So we yeah, it's been about forty five minutes now, and you can see that our um, our resin is absolutely solid. So we're pretty happy. Our little test patch as well has gone off, so we can just release some air out here. That means that our patch will come back, hopefully, quite simply because it's only a short one. We normally would have a rod on here, but because it's only a little short, short patch, it comes out nice and clean and tidy. So that's our, that's our little patch, patch, our packer, all nice and clean. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna throw a camera through, we're gonna have a little look, and we're gonna see, uh, see what we're left with, make sure it's all good, and then give this all a nice bench in. Okay, so just before we get too carried away and we uh, we get this all tidied up too much, what we're going to do is we're going to camera the line. So we've got a little camera head here that we can pass into the pipe. And what you can see here at the moment on the screen, if I can try and get a bit of the glare out of the way, is we've got our new bit of plastic here. And this is our patch that we've installed. So if we go down, you can see the beginning of our little patch. So just at this point here is just a slight little indentation and this is the change, this is the change in the size of materials. So we've got the clay and this is the plastic. So this is the plastic bit here and the clay. Um, if we go on down, these bits here are just a bit of excess um, resin. They'll snap off in a minute when we clean it through. But here as we come up to it, this is that pipe that's coming in from next door. So we have to be really careful just to get on the edge of that and we've done a really good job of doing that. So that's, um, that's us done. So that is now that repair in place. Um, and it's just a case of tidying up and uh, finishing off. So, you know, hopefully you've enjoyed that. Um, we'll put a couple of little shots on of, the, of it finished, but I'm going to leave George here to do this. I'm shooting off to do some other things now. George will do the tidying up, but um, that means that, you know, in the next hour or so, people are going to come in and move in. So realistically, the time it's taken us to do this and, and reinstate has probably been about two hours. Um, if we were to uh, have um, excavated this area and done our repairs on this area, it's it's the best part of half a day, if not a longer. The problem that you get when you start um, cutting out old clay, clay sections is the clay it can deteriorate and you end up trying to get a, 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 a tidy, neat, clean connection. You end up going further and further and back. And because we also have discovered that we've got this pipe that's coming in from next door, coming across here and in, that would have taken some adjustment. So uh, yeah, we would probably would have lost a lost a day on here for the client, uh, which means that they would have lost them um, a booking on this beautiful beautiful holiday let, and they wouldn't have been able to move the people in today. So we've actually progressed it for them, allowing them to get in. So um, yeah, that's that's great. So yeah, signing off. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.